The reason we're calling this a hybrid concept is because there's lots of different kinds of skateboards and lots of different shapes. You got to think about the shape that you want first and we want to combine a little bit of park, a little bit of street, a lot of cruising and you know I made this long board that looks something like this and you know that really brought it all together. <laughs> So we designed a board that's kind of an elliptical shape. It measures nine and a half by 32 inches. So we're cutting the uh, plywood to uh, a size of 11 inches wide and 37 inches long. So we have plenty of room around the outside to work with. We are gonna be um, laminating and bending this. So uh, we need some area around the edge or the perimeter of the skateboard where we can drive screws through uh, the boards. Next we're going to uh, mount a post into a support beam in the ceiling of the house <laughs> and use a level on both sides of the post to make sure that it's perfectly vertical. You want to wear gloves because this stuff stains whatever it gets on and Safety glasses are appropriate too. We're using urethane glue and spreading it thinly around the, the, over the entire surface of one of the boards, getting it nice and even. It's about the consistency of honey. And for this glue to work properly, you must wet the other side uh, that's going to be joined to it. Make it even and don't puddle it. And then you want to attach that to the top of this one. We have a hole pre-drilled in the end of the boards that's about a half an inch from the, the very tip at the front. We're going to put a screw in there very loosely. It's not tight at all uh, just to, to line up these boards to keep them centered. You'll see the center lines uh, on everything actually it's on the mold it's on the block of wood underneath the jack and it's on the uh, skateboard deck itself the jack actually creates downward pressure that forces the laminates to bend the kicktail and shaping the camber underneath the board here's a look at the center line um, you're going to use either decking screws or uh, drywall screws uh, around the perimeter, not driven in too tightly. You don't want to bend the wood in the other direction. Here's the completed jack assembly assembled <laughs> and uh, you'll notice that all of the pressures are vertical. Everything is pushing up into the bottom. There you see the bottom of the post and we're waiting now for this glue to dry and it actually expands. You can see it already oozing out of the sides of the board uh, it'll dry in the mold about 24 hours. Then the next step that we'll do is take the uh, pressure off the jack. So you'll take the jack assembly apart and remove the screws. You'll notice screws like this one are very long. They're actually not contacting anything until they get to the board below. So don't tighten them up too much. You'll bend the wood. Uh, we're using a saw then, a hand saw, to saw the uh, glue that has come out. It gets very hard. Uh, it's like a hard urethane foam is exactly what it is. And then we take that out of the mold and you notice a nice curve that we have to our board. The kick tail and the, the camber underneath all looks exactly the way we wanted it to. You want to clean up the board a little bit, uh, take off the excess glue and maybe sand it a bit around the edges. And we're not finished yet. There's still part two fiberglassing and part three which is finishing. So I hope you'll stay tuned.